Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna look at two different ways to get a PowerPoint that we've generated in Quarto to animate a set of numbered or bullet pointed lists. So first thing we want to do is just create a new PowerPoint. So we go up in our studio, if, assuming we have installed Quarto, it should be here, Quarto presentation. And a lot of people would prefer to use Beamer and have a PDF that they can use for their presentation. But sometimes in the corporate environment, particularly, you need to be producing PowerPoints. Uh, so we're just going to maybe we'll call it something basic. So we create this. It's going to give us a little bit of template example. And if we go and render, so we'll save and then render. So we'll hit the render button. It is going to render up a PowerPoint for me. And if we drag that into screen, you can see that it's very basic. We also notice there's no animation here. So the animations we can add through Quarto um, are somewhat limited, uh, but I'm gonna show you two different ways for where we have any bulleted uh, content, how we can have that to animate. So we'll get rid of that one. So the first way we can do it um, is we probably take out editor. We don't need to do that. I'm just doing it for what we're going to do next. Uh, and so we can add an option to our PPTX of incremental. So incremental, and if we say incremental equals true, we re-render. And now what we notice, we've got the animations so we can do a quick play of this and we can see that the bullet points are now animated for us so that's how we'd go about it if we wanted to do it universally uh, but maybe we don't want to do it universally we just want to do it on a one particular list so we will take out this return this back to how it was and if we come down to our list, so here is our bullets. What we can do, just make a little bit of space, we can add the following. So surrounding our list that we want to animate, we put in our three colons and then dot incremental. And so that is going to give that incremental instruction just for this list. And so that could be handy because maybe there's some lists where you do want to animate it and some where you do not. If we had set a universal to animate, then we can actually, for the false option, we can put in non-incremental. So if we by default have everything incremental, then we can force a particular one non-incremental like that. But here we're just adding incremental so we've put that in. Uh, we need to do that on source rather than the visual editor. Render up. And here we go. We can see that we still have our animated bullet points there. See the little star play animations if we wanted. And that's all we need to do to be able to animate these lists.